Greeks worshipped the bivalve and believed that Aphrodite, the goddess of love, emerged from the ocean in an oyster shell. Still, the oyster lacks respect, even though it is one of the most thoroughly tested foods in the world. In search of the raw truth on how the immobile oyster gets to our plate, we head to Empire on Delta Marina, a perfect launching point for fishing and for grabbing oysters at their freshest. Today, the restaurant is winging it with buffalo oysters, but lunch will have to wait. I'm going oyster fishing with Ray Bath and his son, Brian Winkler, fifth and sixth generation oystermen. It's, it's a way of life. It's not, a it's not, it's not something we do eight to five. It's more like five to eight. There's a lot of, a lot of preparation, a lot of things we have to do to get those oysters to the, to the table. We head out aboard the Two Ray, a boat named for Ray and his father. Here they'll work unseen oyster beds along nondescript marshes. I think y'all in for a treat, y'all gonna find out what's natural. <laughs> in the mid-1800s, Croatian fishermen and their families moved to Louisiana and began creating a new way of life. They also built an industry that produces over 40% of all oysters consumed across the U.S. The dredge drops and the two men worked their family state lease bed. Months before, they had harvested young oyster specs and moved them here, where Mother Nature does the rest. This one's big enough to go in the basket. All these little ones are going to go back to the water for, for later on. Then you take like the little seedlings and plant them somewhere else. Yeah. Rotating crops and planting, this is not rod and reel fishing, it's more plow and rake. They call it fishing, but it, it's more like farming with no control. We all like farming, you know, a lot, to, to an extent. Because we, we have to bring our oysters, little oysters, to certain areas, wait for them to grow, and all, all that takes time. For Ray, even with the disappearing coast, Louisiana is the only place to farm. I mean, you could go plant a garden in the desert, but I know it's not going to grow. So, but yeah, just, and, and again, Mother Nature just, just changes all, all the time. Again, this is why we spread out. We have leases here in Jefferson Towers, Minnesota Towers, because you, you never know when one area is going to be good. You've got you to try. One thing I had to try was an oyster straight from the Gulf. <laughs> Look at the size of this fish. This is a bio oyster. You don't get any pressure to that. Oh my God. What do you taste when you have a Louisiana oyster? I, I got a different, probably a different perspective because I, I chew an oyster. A lot of people don't chew an oyster, so you don't, in my opinion, you don't know what an oyster tastes like because all you taste is the water. Do you chew them or do you swallow them? I think I swallow them. You know, have you ever chewed them? I think I'm going to have to chew them. You know, my thinking, do you swallow steak? If you swallow it, you won't taste the difference because all you taste is that water. If you chew it, you're going to taste the amazing difference. You don't know what oysters taste like until you eat one, like right there out of that shell. Then you can know what it is. You get that, get that little drip of deliciousness coming down my teeth. Oh, yeah. That's good. I'd like to tell you that by chewing that oyster, I could taste the bite, that I could taste generations of hard work. But what I tasted was pure, salty Louisiana goodness. I can say I had never tasted an oyster until then. And until today, I had no idea about the families that struggled to bring them to my plate. A lot of guys are going crab and trawling because it's, yeah. and it's, hard, it's hard to make a look. You got it. Again, I got nowhere to go. So I'll be here till the end. One way or another, I'm a fighter until they tell me you can't fish another one. As the two rays brought us back, the fifth generation oystermen had a simple request. Just keep on eating oysters so we can keep, keep this generation going. This is a, a heritage, not a job. It's a way of life. My friend, that's the least I can do. Thank you.